what you did. So, did I just tell you, record? Are you started recording like I you? Think, I think uh, because at that time, when the track list came out, yeah, like yeah. it was a big deal. People were talking about it like, yo, Bonner Boy is the only one without any feature. Like yes, every yes, other person. Yes. Like Bonner Boy this, Bonner Boy that. Like one, everybody yeah. was ailing him and everything. And Bonner Boy never spoke about it. He never posted, never... <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? What's good? Yes, it's your boy Taki. I think they found me about that. Hey guys, the way of this content creators just hey guys, now, eh? <laughs> like this boy. Hey peeps! I got what's up? What's good? The boy Taki spells Maybe you should tilt toward the ladies. Hey ladies. Oh, that's true. You wanna get down? In his voice, actually. His voice is not mine. But anyway, Malfa is still open, anyways. IDP ladies who are displaced with flood and everything from other states. Bayelsa, Papa Court, Delta. <laughs> If you, if you have, if you have, if, if water is pushing for me out. No, I saw this video where crocodile is actually gets into people's apartment now. Wow. Yeah, and very risky. But my house yeah. is upstairs. And the talk of crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys for doing what you do. We see it, we love it. And yes, we appreciate 100%. you guys, man. 100%. You guys are the real G. Yeah. Anyways, straight up. With our own boy. Bon boy. Odogu, Odogu, Odogu. Odogu. has this. Bonaboy, if, if, if I describe Bonaboy in three words, mm. like just. Three words. What would you describe about to be? Talented, cocky, and and confident. You know, they said there's a thin line between confidence and being rude mm. and pride, basically. Yeah. Do you think he's mis- is, is actually having boats? Mm. Uh, but nobody doesn't have it. It's, well, everyone has, has a bit of pride in them because yeah. pride is you knowing what you are yeah, yeah, and yeah. everything and not accepting anything like any belittling from anyone. So everyone has that in them. And, but then, uh, before you can be proud, you like, you have to be really, really confident of yourself because it is confidence, confidence that builds up, you know, that pride yeah, in yeah. you. So, uh, maybe some little pride from the confidence, you know, that he has. Maybe oh, some okay. Little, from little, some little ones. Because then. people say I'm proud too. So, understandable anyways guys in your words this is where you're so good at conversation describe Bonner boy in three words let me see what you describe this guy to be i want to see you guys i'm comments. not proud though like i'm not i'm not saying yeah. like i accept it though people <laughs> just say it bro i always like bro how am i proud okay, they know you're not proud they know you're not proud you get me you know you're proud what they think say i'm saying i'm proud i'm not proud i beg you and that one is sh- what do you think about the first thing in three words let me see it in the comment section what do you think about him in three words what do you think about me in three words me yeah <laughs> <laughs> on the spot ah i think you are i think you are you are diplomatic yeah i think you are difficult oh. yeah it's difficult uh i think you can be funny when you want to be funny <laughs> but diplomatic difficult god if i need to do you know what i'm talking about <laughs> diplomatic and difficult ah top notch <laughs> hey, let me see what the, let me see what you feel about the first key from outside from from a public view general view if you know him, if you know him personally let me see your thoughts about it in just three words so just the Donifeski, rude, arrogant, proud. B, I see it, I'll screenshot it, I'll send it to him. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get back to you because he has to prove himself that no, I'm not that person. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, but Bonner Boy, there was this project he, he worked on that mm. if anybody would have worked on that project, it was going to yeah. be like the biggest of their career. Yeah. Yeah. And then that was the Lion's King project mm, with, where, Beyonce. with Beyonce, where it's supposed to be, um, as a matter of fact, it was one that actually would say, as we put put his colleague Whiskey yeah. in that global f- light because that was yeah. the ground yeah. and everything. Um, but then there's been this from the from the, from the side of that mm-hmm. there's been this talk about where he come come for interviews and then he's not saying anything about that we supposed to be the biggest of everything. Mm-hmm. And then what this interview actually had where he was like, I didn't know how I found myself on that song. <laughs> so <laughs> how did you record <laughs> what you did? So did I just tell you record? Are you started recording like I think I think uh because at that time when the track list came out, yeah, like yeah. it was a big deal. People were talking about it, like yo, Bonner Boy is the only one without any feature, like yes, every yes, other person, yes. like Bonner Boy this, Bonner Boy that, like one, everybody yeah. was ailing him and everything. And Bonner Boy never spoke about it, he never posted, he never <laughs> did anything. Beyonce, too, on the other end, he, she like when she mentioned people and all that, she never like mentioned Bonner Boy at some point. So then I like, I gave it a second thought that, okay, 
uh, in this in- same interview, Bonaboy mentioned that oh, they were now asking him that how did he not get to you know get the collaboration that like, was his mom that yeah, did the yeah, whole thing. Yeah. So I feel that maybe it was one of Bonaboy's song they just had to like send to them. Probably they were like on their neck and everything. Oh, they want the African giants, this and that. It's project with you know, Africa related and all of that. So uh, the mom would just like, tend to them that this one is what you guys can use, but no collaboration, no feature. That could have been the condition from Bonaboy's you know, team. Uh, so maybe that, that's like why he never knew about it. Cause like, okay, we don't send them something. That is as they have millions of songs, like thousands, let me use thousands of songs that they would record and not release. Oh, so, yeah, like one of the songs that, okay, ah, Jara, Jara, yeah, yeah, nah, send them to be, send them to be. And then they sent it to Beyonce. And, uh, maybe because of the fact that there was no much talk about it. And we know Bonaboy is one person that likes to, have the spotlight. Yeah. There was a song with Whiskey also on that album, uh, the Brown, Brown Skin, Skin Girl, Girl yeah. that was happening to do so well. And the song that Bonaboy had, the lone song, like, didn't perform yeah, as much. As much as so we're well, yeah. like, okay, why, why don't we talk about it, man? Like, there's already a standout song on that project. So, whatever it is, let's just leave it, you know, the way it is. And it's just, you know, decided to mellow and he's just on his own about it. On his own about it now, but then he does with, with the silence and everything. Because yeah. in this interview, they, I think was asked if Beyonce was the greatest or something. Yeah. And then in his exact they said Beyonce is a good um artist or musician. I said, but she's not the best in the world. Yeah, yeah. No, Bonner Bonner said um says the, she the greatest. She, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said that well, everybody is the greatest in their own. Beyonce is the best for Beyonce. Yeah, but then, like that. But then like everybody is good. But Beyonce is also good. So like he cannot say or they compare him with Drake. Yeah, with that, Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said that Drake is you no know, bigger than Beyonce. And Bonaboy said, Why do you say think with Drake is not over hyped? Because the person was saying Beyonce was over hyped and yeah. everything. Like, why do you think Drake is not over hyped? And like that's the fact everybody is big in their own pocket. And he said, Beyonce is the best in Beyonce. And that like, there's no one, there's no other Beyonce. Beyonce is Beyonce and Drake is Drake. Bonaboy is Bonaboy. So you are the you are the one that will come out, I'm the best of the best. Everybody would not argue to you that they Definitely. are the best of the best. Yeah. Nobody would. Anyway, but then, do you, do you think that statement, or do you think at the time, mm-hmm. they had, it's created like a rift between Bonner and Beyonce? Hmm. Was there a rift? Ah, uh, well, after after the old album thing, yeah, that yeah. there was no statement from Bonaboy about it. No, no, no. No yeah. post, no acknowledgement, no nothing. And Beyonce on the other side too, <laughs> like, rarely, you know, get to mention or do Talking like anything, that, yeah. you know, related to the track with Bonaboy. And I think that, okay, maybe it was as a result of, you know, the way, you know, every other person took it, they were all over that. Like, Yo, I'm on Beyonce's project. Everybody, everyone was, yeah. everyone was happy as over you. But Bonaboy, <laughs> bro, was just there. And it was same thing we saying that he never knew how he got on the song. Like, bro, like, fam, Queen B. But then it is what it is. He's saying, he's speaking his truth. And, you know, that is what it is at that point. So maybe that led to them not getting to talk or, them not you know, getting to link up and you know when people do not talk you maybe p- people the public opinion is oh maybe they are not in good terms, in good terms they are terms, not fighting because yeah. he said that he does not have Beyonce's contact like he hasn't yeah, spoken he, her, spoken, yeah. he hasn't seen her before or something so uh, it could be that I never see it before but my team they follow it up you know me say me and yeah, you will all be friends yeah. anyways I, I, I think I remember then um, there, was, there was a talk where they came outside and then it was more like they didn't share and plug. They didn't share and the. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like you know the way, the way, made, the, way the picture created, um, formed about was the fact that it was like an audition day where yeah. everybody was supposed to go out audition and they didn't tell him and then it was mm-hmm. more like they didn't share and plug and everything. Yeah. So and then it was more like, like I said, it was something that should have made every artist mm-hmm. look forward to. I remember them techno, Tiwa Savage. You get people where everybody, everybody big pass. You get, but then there was another standout on where. This one that gave um whiskey the grammy and everything. Now, don't you think this also contributed to Bonaboy not even making efforts to even do anything? Because he was the only lone um singer mm-hmm. on that one. Mm-hmm. And then the expectation was that for them to give you that slot, suppose kill him. Right. But then the one the person called the kill him now, which Beyonce even was pushing, mm. was this one that was not even that was a collab and everything. Mm-hmm. And from Bonaboy, there's something we we'll remember about the fact that he has it's competitive, yeah. Mm. I don't use that word, it's competitive. So he doesn't like to lose. Mm. You get, and then Whiskey 
he's taking the glory off that one and everything. Mm. Do you think this also will contrib- or contributed to the fact that he was having that with Beyonce? Mm-hmm. But that boy is a very competitive person, like you said. Like he likes you no know, being at the top. Yeah. Or top or nothing for Bonaboy. Boy. Because if he's like not like the number one or whatever he's doing, then he really would not want to, you know, be associated with that. Uh that being said, uh it could have also been one of the reasons why he felt like, okay. My whiz, now whiskey don't care. I don't know what I'm I might just be, my just day, my day, man, no talk, my just you no know, mellow, and just day in day, like like he did, and uh, and all of those moments passed, and got his own Grammys too, and it's fine, he's chilling. Got his own Grammy, and it's fine. Anyways, moving on to this one. Recently, we saw both of them having this cheat chats, <laughs> everything. I not like a link up and everything. Yeah. Now, to some persons, they felt like oh, beef is over. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, people are looking forward to. What next after now? Yeah. Because now you guys had one the first time. It didn't really pull out as you guys would want. Yeah. According to you, you say you didn't know. You didn't even know you got there. You've not spoken to her. Right. Now you have spoken to her. Mm-hmm. Now you have met her. Mm-hmm. Most likely you guys have a search contact at the moment. Mm-hmm. What are we expecting from this one now? Hmm. What are we expecting? Uh, hmm. For me, I think uh, it would not It would not be more than you know, what we're saying here. I really <laughs> do not think that there's there was going to be a Beyonce Burner Boy collaboration. Uh, Beyonce dropped the album, you know, like yeah, yeah. a couple of you know months, months ago. ago like uh, month ago. before Uganda and Beyonce album, maybe in some next two year. years or something or next year, may just maybe. Uh, my Bonaboy is one person that he likes to be very, very selective with his collaborations. If you notice, he doesn't just collaborate with popular people or so-called big people because he wants to do it. No, he he does it because. If you like, uh, because it doesn't do it because the people want it. It does it because he feel himself, like, yeah. you know, feel like like I should have a song with this person and you know, and stuff. And uh, looking at you know, what he said in the past, like he's never at some at any point mentioned that oh people he look forward to working with a Beyonce or something. He always mentioned names that <laughs> you know like even you don't like know, yeah. you don't know or like collaborations that you never imagined would have you know been up with have happened with a Bonner boy. And that's that like the things that he likes to work on. So for me personally. I think that this meet and greet is just, you know, them meeting up and just talking and, you know, sure. vibing like, bro, Bonaboy had last, last one of the biggest songs at the moment. So definitely, you know, you'd always, you know, want to talk up, to talk to him about it. And this, it even posted, bro, now person will snap the picture, I mean, post them online. Sad, man. So man, he's not really, he's not, he's not bugged about it. Anyways, guys, the first thing is not bugged about that one. Guys, let me see your thoughts about this one. What do you think that meeting was actually um, bred? Do you think it's going to bred something like a new wave of sound or something? Or, I think the first key is just M and G that's talking about meet and greet. Let me see your thoughts on that one. And yes, we'll catch you on the very, very next one.